Hello everyone, my name is Sam Yishan and I'm a curator with a special interest in film and um, the moving image. And I'm here today with um, artist and filmmaker Trulia Anon Siripon, who's the director of the film 100 Times Reproduction of Democracy. Welcome Trulia Anon. Hi, thank you Yishan for joining us for the q and Hi, I'm Trulia Anon Siripon. Uh, I'm the artist and filmmaker uh, based in Bangkok, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, perhaps I'll start with a, a rather uh, a straightforward question to just introduce everyone um, into this work. So I'd like to ask how this um, whole idea came about um, for, for this um, kind of very substantial documentary feature film of yours to connect the notion of like reproduction and artistic agency um, in the process of creation to these very cyclical changes uh, or stages in Thai politics. Um, yeah, the film like uh, started from the idea of the uh, my art practice mm -hmm, in terms of the filmmaking and I have a problem with the copyright of the film. So I make the question on copyright of the video work because the video work is, is different from the other kind of art because uh, the video can make a reproduction. And the question is, uh, what is the, the, the authentic of the video? What is the, what is the originality of the video? So to make the question on the copyright, I make like a, uh, the copy of the video itself for, for 100, 100 times. And that idea, the, uh, the idea of the copyright and reproduction, I try to make a relationship with the current uh, Thai political situation to make the question on what is the copyright and, and who is the owner of the democracy in Thailand. Mm -hmm. So it starts from my personal problem, but it was extended to uh, social and political issue in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the way that you divided this work into five parts uh, really does echo this approach that you take where you're looking at the, the um, or questioning rather the idea of what is original, what is authentic, what is the reproduction and what is like a reality. So um, how did you um, choose at which points to use um, certain kinds of, um, let's say digital filmmaking techniques or documentary filming techniques, um, you know, to kind of like really uh, emphasize your point. So for instance, in the section five um, of the film, when you talk, uh, I mean, it's titled Reproduction of Democracy to the Authentic Democracy. Um, there's a lot of these kind of demonstration footage as well as a recording of like a kind of rock festival. You know, like um, how come it was important for you to really insert something that is so um, raw and real in this particular section compared to the um, earlier part where there's a lot more kind of like a, um, different kinds of um, self-reflexive or filmic um, um, approaches? Mm. Mm. Yeah, at the, the fifth part of, of the film is like uh, I try to uh, document what is happening in Thai politics um, in terms of the uh, it start that uh, in 2013 mm -hmm, that at the same time that I made the short film in the first part. So it's like a parallel situation between uh, my art practice and is what is happening in the Thai politics. Mm. So, uh, but the idea is, is like, a, it's a documentation between uh, the story of myself and the the story of the political situation. And this kind of document is like, a, is, a re, is a reflection of themselves. Mm, it's a re, because uh, 
uh, this kind of a parallel story is is not separate. It's not separately related. But actually, I think uh, what I I did like uh, make a copy of the DVD and sell it in public. I think it can be related to what is happening in Thailand at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, the first part to the fourth part is uh, is my is my art practice mm. Mm -hmm. that that I uh, that I show the process of the artwork mm -hmm. by documenting video. Mm -hmm. mm. But for the fifth part, it's like uh, it's more talk about the what is happening in Thailand because uh, it will be connected at the end of the fifth part that yeah. how how my art practice and Thai politics can be connected, mm -hmm. mm. and I think in terms of the foreigner who don't know so much about Thai politics, it must take some time to explain that what is happening mm. in Thailand. And from my, from my opinion on the fifth part, I think uh, uh, the idea of the democracy in Thailand is, 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 not, uh, is not absolute answer. Mm, because uh, we have a lot of the conflict mm. between uh, political ideology mm, mm. between like uh, conservative and uh, progressive mm, between uh, some people support uh, democracy to uh, to have more progressive in Thailand in the future, but on the other hand, some group of people would like to to freeze to freeze uh, the country to be as same as in the past. Mm. So this kind of the two political ideology is uh, the big conflict in Thailand, and we have uh, many many times to fight each others in terms of the political ideology. And the question is, uh, who who is own the country? Who is the owner of the democracy in Thailand? And mm -hmm. who 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 has the hegemony to to control mm, the country? Mm. Yeah. So I think this kind of question is can be related to art, my art practice. Yes, mm. and it's interesting how um, you were kind of contrasting the first to fourth part of. Uh, parts of the film to this fifth part that really sticks out because um, it's very raw, it's, it's very real. Um, I, I kind of see the connecting, co connecting element as the audience because in the first or fourth part, you really capture a lot of the way that your people respond to your work, whether or not you're trying to sell your DVD along Khao San Road to like uh, people who don't know what it's about or even in the art um, school with the faculty members who are questioning you about your work as you are trying to explain to them. So it's almost like these different groups of people sort of look like um, the audience members in the fifth part or the people on the streets who are listening to, to what these um, political um, leaders are saying or they're reacting to something that political leaders have done. So they end up going on the streets to respond to it. So it's almost like the two different groups of people are, are parallel to each other. And then this kind of constant discussion and conflict comes about. On one side, your art practice, and the other side, you know, in, in the streets. So, so that seemed quite interesting. Mm -hmm. mm, I think it's, it's like uh, we can compare the, the art world in Thailand to the political world in Thailand. Mm. Mm, I mean, the, yeah, the art world is very small, and uh, we have. Uh, uh the conflict between the peoples in the art world mm. but this small world in the art world is can be 
compare to the the politics in Thailand in the in the big scale. Mm. So mm. that that means the if we look into the small scale of the art world, it can be can be compared to the big scale of the the Thai politics. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the audience in the art world that is my is like my friend or my art community. Mm. And the audience in the art world is is like we have the conflict to each other in terms of the the art practice, uh, the practice of the art making, and the i the i uh, ideology of the art making, mm. and also we have the different kind of the political ideology mm. between the artists and the curator. So yeah, we have the de debate a lot yes. yeah. <laughs> about uh, what is happening in the art world and outside the art world. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and along those lines, I think that what you're doing throughout the film with um, the DVD, um, the certificate, the original work itself, and even the plaque, you're trying to actually make these very, um, identify these points where these, the world of the, the small world, smaller world of the art community kind of intersects with this broader um, world of like Thai politics, Thai history, Thai nationalism, and so on. So, um, you know, like uh, in, in your view, um, especially um, thinking of what happens at the end of the film, like what do you think the relationship is between like art and social change or political change? This is quite a broad question. So um, I think mm -hmm. that you can respond to it um, according to how you, you, you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, so at, uh, at the last part of the film is... Uh, is like performance, but mm. is is presented as a, a reality that I make an offering to to the spirit house, mm -hmm. and I say that uh, I will stop making political art because uh, it's too dangerous and it's too uh criticizing the something that invisible power mm. so and finally when after i criticize the invisible power i will may get something bad into myself mm. maybe i'm in danger so in that sense it's like I try to respect the higher class or rural class, uh, ruling class in Thailand. Mm. So it's like a, it's, it's like a connection between something supernatural in Thailand, which is uh, high class and uh, some people still believe that this high class in Thailand will be protect uh, the people in Thailand. Mm. But on the other hand, uh, the progressive and the democracy movement would like to make the question on this uh, high class like uh, uh, military or monarchy. So they try to make the question and make the question on what is the necessary of this kind of class in Thailand. The people should be equal or we should have more, uh, uh, more voices to talk about the taboo in our country. So for me, the last part is like, uh, the connection between the supernatural and and uh, something like uh, that something like uh, that we are facing on mm, it's like between 
common people and the uh, uh, spiritual things that we cannot touch or cannot criticize. But in the last part, it's like I try to obey or I try to be um, like a loser. It's like a, the loser artist that we have to say that I'm sorry for you that I take I do something bad, I did something bad. Mm. So it's quite hopeless. Mm. At the end of the film, it's quite hopeless that uh, I as artist is a loser mm. in terms of the making art and in terms of, of the political action mm. that we cannot mm, move on or progress our country. And we have to like... Uh, to be under the ruling class forever, something like that. So, but on the other hand, we can, uh, we can interpret that this kind of the, the end of the film is like a sarcastic performance um, and make the question on how should we live in the future? How, should we live like this under the ruling class or we will uh, uh, stand up and make the question on the ruling, ruling class in Thailand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think uh, the film itself is hopeless, but uh, if we look into what is happening in Thailand today, I think it's is is quite i have some hope i have some hope to that thailand is going to be more progress in, in terms of a democracy mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no uh, um, those are, are really um, strong words so um i really think that the, the film actually reflects this because um you know if you think about your role at the beginning of the film, you know, as you were speaking just now, you start out as a director um, and your the original authentic film is shown. And, but that particular film ends off with a performance that is also quite um, layered. It's sarcastic, you know, like um, with everybody in the garden and um, the different performers, like you're planking and then like uh, the, the main character is also lying on the, the, the jar and so on. But then you parallel this with your own performance at the end where you become you as the artist become all these different kinds of characters. So, mm -hmm. so perhaps in a way, um, you know, like you are kind of reinforcing the possibility that art has in, in making these kind of transformations. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, uh, yeah, in the beginning, I am the director of the short film, A Cocky or Shy by Pecking on the Mouth of an Earthen Jar. And the, that, my position in the beginning is a director of the film, but when the film goes on, I turn myself from the director to be the performer. And at the end, it seems like I am a part of the film mm, that I am directed. Mm, it's like I am the direct myself. Mm -hmm. So it's a blur boundary between the documentary and the fiction, mm, how, how, how the grand narrative or something that story in, in our society that it seems like it's never happened, but it can be blend into our daily life and blend to our reality. Mm. Mm. So I think, yeah, I found out that this kind of a belief uh, is still happen, it still exists in our society. So for example, like the short film in the first part is the, is a mix, the mixture between medical treatment and the supernatural. Mm. So yeah, Thai people still believe that uh, medical treatment is, is a kind of the, it's like a body treatment. It can treat you only, or it can heal you only the body, but your mind, you have to 
related to like supernatural or the religion to to heal you mm. so yeah this kind of the uh discuss discussion between two things is keep going on this film until the end mm, mm, mm. yeah yeah it's and, certainly quite powerful and um perhaps uh, just one last um question to to wrap up our discussion um you've mentioned that this is uh, one of the earliest times that this film happens to be shown to an international audience so um were there some particular uh reactions or questions from the audiences in Thailand that um, came about uh, that uh, were quite interesting that you like to share. Mm, yeah, it's like some of them can be related this film mm, into like what is recently happening mm. in Thailand because the film itself was produced in. Is finished in 2019, uh, last year, but uh, two, two or three months ago, uh, the protester in Thailand they made the made, made, made the, the the plaque, the fake plaque that mm. show the. Second, um, how to say is 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 like a the second uh, fake plague that show the the starting point of the democracy in Thailand. So that kind of the process, I think, is as same as what I did uh, in the film mm -hmm. because of the the this kind of plague that. The, the protest made it is kind of the the question on who's who is the owner of mm -hmm. the democracy mm -hmm. because uh, the plague itself uh, the the original plague by the people's party or Kanara Sadon is was disappear like for uh, three years ago mm -hmm. And it disappear mysteriously, but the student try to make the second uh, Kanak Rasadon plague mm -hmm, in the protest, but it's fake, the mm -hmm. fake one, to make the question on what is who who is the owner right. of the democracy. So, but sarcastically, the second fake plague it would disappear again but uh, the fake plague was transformed into digital world because the designer was spread the spread the 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 model of the plague on the social media and everyone can make a copy and make a copy and reproduction of the fake plague into like souvenir or into like uh, uh, any object that they want to do. So in that sense, uh, the originality is gone. The authentic is gone, but the spiritual, the spirit of of the of the of the plague is still exist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the body is not necessary anymore, but we have to keep the spirit mm, to go on. So in that sense, the, the spirit of the democracy will continue, will be continued. And compared to my film, uh, the body of the film it can be gone, but the what is important is the information in the film. Mm. I think so. This kind of the parallel uh, situation between what is happening in the film and the, is what happening in the in the protest. 
in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and and another comment from from the audience is like uh, from the Thai audience, they they think it's like uh, it's like uh, it's my re revenge. Yeah, the whole film is my revenge um, from from what I what I get what I got from it's like I am too angry about the the copyright of the film. Mm. So they are some of them like cheer up me to revenge. Mm. But some of them this this disagree with the whole film that why I have to revenge or too angry about this issue. Mm -hmm. So there are different kind of the reaction from the audience, mm. especially if if the audience is is not in the art world, mm. they are look from outside the art world and some of them cannot connect with the film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 really interesting. But um, it's um, it's good to hear that there's so many different reactions, and we look forward to this film getting many more as it travels um, around the world. So um, thank you so much for your participation today in the Q and A session, and congratulations once more. On, I think what I think is a really really strong and and powerful film. Mm, yeah. Thank you so much, Ishan, to join us. <laughs> Thanks for the Q and A. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I yeah we we I. I hope the the film will be is like a is a rec, uh, the record of which of is happening in Thailand at this moment. So if we come back to see the film like in ten years, in twenty years, we can dig it on uh, more and more uh, relationship between past, past, present, and the future. Mm -hmm. mm, like yeah. a memorial almost yeah memorial mm -hmm. i hope so <laughs> all right thank you so much yeah. okay thank you so much ishan thank you to everyone